Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's film I want to share with you maybe the other side of the YouTube creator's experience when filmmaking out in the landscape doesn't always go to plan and sometimes there isn't even a plan like this morning where I've basically set off on a footpath that I've identified on OS maps. It's a circuitous route, it runs five miles in the Welsh mountains and I thought I know let's get up in the morning, go for a sunrise shoot, have a wander, see what compositions we can find and hopefully get some good images along the way. Well it doesn't always work out. For every film that you see that I put up and the images that are put up there's probably as many films that you don't get to see ones that end up just in the bin because on the day the light wasn't right or I couldn't quite find the composition or it just wasn't happening for me. So I thought today, if you'd like to join me for the rest of the film, I'll share with you some of those experiences when it doesn't quite go as you wanted. So please join me and let's see what happens. Very good morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wales. And this morning I'm up for a sunrise shoot, as you can see in the glorious mountains, just waiting for the sun to crest the summit of that hill. And then hopefully it'll start to illuminate these mountains and get some of that lovely golden early first light cascading and kissing the tops of those mountains. So I've just taken a shot from over here and here is that image and in this image I do like the way that the grasses provide that leading line taking you into the scene and the textures on the rocks giving that foreground interest. But after that as I'd alluded to previously the light in the image was in the wrong place and there's no detail being brought out on those background mountains. There's also no cloud interest so that sky is fairly flat and monotone despite the fact that we've got the early golden hues as blue hour transgresses into golden hour. So I'll give that one a 5 out of 10. So as the light's cascading over the mountain top, down in between the ridges and the valleys, there's some lovely layers. I'm just trying to capture those. Got the long lens on, the 70 to 200. And because the sun's over there, it's just creating a bit of lens flare. So there's quite a few spots of light uh, on the viewfinder. So I'm just going to Put my hand there to block it out and take that shot. That's nice. Lovely. So I said that was a lovely image and on the back of the camera it did indeed look that way. I really liked the sheep in the bottom left hand corner which gives the image a real sense of scale and pervades the vastness of the mountains in the background. I love the early golden light splashing and cascading across those grasses and fields in the foreground. 
and the way the image is composed of all the different layers that you can see highlighted here. I was a bit disappointed with that shaft of light. It didn't produce that golden colour that I could see when I was stood on that knoll. And again, we've got a lack of cloud interest or sky interest. A bit flat on the top there and doesn't really do the image justice. But I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. So I took the Mavic Pro up for a spin to focus on the area of the landscape that was illuminated by that early golden light cascading across the hillside. And I loved this image for the way that the light and shadow play across the scene. The mountain top being the focal point of the interest in the top left hand third of the image and the sheep providing that scale. Unfortunately, again, we have no cloud interest, so the sky is quite bland and blank, even though we do have those pink hues. And overall, compositionally, it lacks foreground interest. And there's quite a lot of blank space in that bottom half of the image. So I think this one's going to get a 5 out of 10. So I've got a couple more images which I've given an 8 out of 10, which I'll put up at the end of the video, but for now it's back to me in the field. So it's been an absolutely beautiful morning. As you can see the sun's well up now, it's uh, quarter to eight. So about an hour and a half after I arrived here this morning at quarter past six. Um, my plan this morning was, to be honest, there wasn't a plan. I found this footpath, this circuitous five mile route uh, around some of the, the hills up here. Uh, and basically just took a punt. I thought I'll go for a walk, see what compositions I can find. I think a couple of lessons from this morning really is just the same as with sunset, sunrise happens so quickly. Uh, it's in the blink of an eye and that sun's above the tops of the mountains. I did catch a little bit of a sun star as the sun rose above it, but I'm not sure whether I'm going to put it up or not. And then, as I said, I was going to go and try and get a panorama of these mountains here as the light began to illuminate them. and. Basically, the light hasn't illuminated them. It's not coming in from the right direction. So uh, I should really have checked my photographer's ephemeris to see in which direction the light was coming this morning because they're, they're just not getting illuminated. Uh, very flat, dark. Uh, and there's I, the image I had in mind, it's, it's just not worked. So disappointed from that point of view. There's a lovely lake down in the bottom here don't know that you can see that. Absolutely still as a mill pond. I think I should have been down there this morning. Um, but for me, I didn't want to do masses of planning. It really was just find a, a route on OS maps, get out there, enjoy the countryside, explore nature and see if there are any compositions along the way. So with all this beautiful countryside, this glorious scenery, the stunning views and vistas, just goes to show that a beautiful scene doesn't always make for a beautiful photograph and trying to find a composition this morning that really satisfied and did justice to the landscape in which we find ourselves this morning has proved quite a challenge um, but as always I've had a fantastic time it's been beautiful just to be out here just to sit and soak up these views and enjoy the the beautiful weather it's gorgeous really beautiful with that sun shining across the landscape. Um, so yeah, my channel aims to inspire you to get outside into nature, into the countryside and explore the landscape from where I share my photography experience, my views, my opinions. And if that's the sort of content that you'd like to see more of, please do hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to ensure you don't miss any future episodes. 
So I'm going to share what images I have captured this morning, just to show you that you don't always get bangers when you come out on a morning like this. Uh, I put up some drone footage as well. Um, had the drone up this morning and it was really, really nice. Uh, so I'll share those with you. So yes, thank you for joining me on this hike up in Wales, in the mountains. Thanks very much for watching. It really is appreciated. And uh, until next time, just to say, take care, look after yourselves, stay safe. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.